Oh my gosh, we're still here. We are still here. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's actually four in the afternoon here. We're it on is. the beach. We are. <laughs> and it's a having beautiful a great, beach. It is a beautiful beach and we're having a great time. But what we were talking about today, John and I were, was really taking 100% responsibility for where you are in life. Everything. Yeah. Everything about life. Don't blame others. Right. Don't blame the circumstances. And it's so easy to do. Good morning, Andrew. It's so easy to do. Hey, to Baba. Say that it's um, it's not our fault where we are. It's not our fault that we failed at something. Or what else would you say? Well, like I uh, let everybody know last week, they started listening to George Washington biography or autobiography. Since he didn't write it, is it biography or autobiography? It's autobiography. No, so, I don't even know. We have to look that up. <laughs> I'm sure someone will let us know. Yes. Um, but it was interesting that he had a lot of family untimely deaths. But he was there and he was, wasn't prepared for the deaths, but he was also prepared to take the challenge, the next challenge was on. So you know, George Washington, uh, when he was, I think it was 19, 20 years old, became a land surveyor for like Pennsylvania and Ohio. And he took the job very serious and went out riding and surveying the entire land and that's how he started to know the country and why he became you know, our first president it was those first steps that he was prepared to do it's so, amazing how all this comes around because we've all learned about him but i've never known that right so you know it's going back to what you're saying being prepared and don't blame blaming others now who could he have blamed he could have blamed you know the world for mm -hmm. the untimely deaths that would happen to him and his family and um we just had to, you know, just be prepared for it. Right. And take responsibility. Right. If you come home every night and you watch TV and you do nothing and you're not prepared for the next thing in life, then it's difficult to be ready to go when you're asked to step up in a sense. So, yes, we all have to take 100% responsibility. Where'd you go? <laughs> I know. I'm looking. I'm trying to see who's here. Mark is here and Madeline's here. Good morning, everyone. We are actually 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We are on with our day. We're at the beach and kind of stepped aside to do this. But everything we do, everything we say in life, everywhere we go, we are where we are because of what we've done in the past, what choices we've made. So <laughs> you're thinking deep. <laughs> Everything you say and do has to be focused on your ascent in life, what you're going to do, how you're going to move forward. If you simply say, oh, it's not my fault that I've ended up where I am, then you're going to stay right there. Right. And I love the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's not going to change. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning. Let Dina. me see. Dina, yes. Um, it's, it's interesting because we can continue to do the same thing, hoping that things will change. And then when it doesn't change, we're, why is it that we're shocked? We're amazed that it doesn't change and yet we're doing the same thing. Right. And we got to do it. If someone could look this up for us or look this up for me, cause I know there's a uh, longer saying, you know, the definition of insanity, uh, insanity is doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> and I, I know I understand that, but there's another line or another catchphrase after that. Okay, that I'd no love one, to hear that. that no one's yeah. ever no, I know it's out there, but I just don't remember what it is. I'd love to hear what's next, yes. And it's, in, it's expecting to lose weight and then eating the same junk food every night. Expecting to get a promotion and going home watching TV. Expecting to, I don't know. Or get a promotion and stand around the water cooler. Right. Complaining to everybody else about, you know, bosses or situations that are happening around there. Yes, and then just little things, step, expecting to make a whole new group of friends, say, and not doing anything to meet new friends. So everything we do, every decision we make is based on what we've done, what, how we've gotten there, and if we're not ready to press forward and to grow more, then we're not gonna, nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So how are you making it happen today? How are you stepping out from your life and um, living bigger? Living bolder, living, you know, in full color, so to well, speak. And to, and to change. You no, know, if you want right. change, you've got to create change on your own. Right, exactly. And just to go back real quick, Laura, since you just joined, good morning. Uh, we we're talking about the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again. But I'm pretty sure there's a 
another line or two after that that uh, nobody ever remembers to say. But if you could, that's where we're asking if people could look up that uh, that extra part of what does the definition of insanity mean. Yeah, we're going to have to look that up and really delve into it. So again, people seem to complain about the same things, but they, do, they don't do something, and I know I'm guilty in several areas, I don't do something to change it. So we need to tap into what we want to change in life, and we need to go forward and change it. And it's gotta be a drastic change. You can't just, I guess, you know, there's two ways about it. One, you can make, it's gotta be a drastic change, and you can do it over time as long as you continue to make that change. Keep that on your target, keep that on your board that you're always going after that mm -hmm. change. You don't have to, but some people do need to shock, shock system. the world, <laughs> shock the system, and right. to do this complete change for themselves. Um, you know, either way is going to be fine. No, you do it drastic. I uh, you know. One day right. you're brunette, next day you got pink hair, like we've seen on the beach. Um, <laughs> yes. That's a drastic change, or you just continually to make those improvements and don't fall back. And it's consistency. Yep. You want to change, you need to consistently do it. It's not as though it's going to happen overnight and then bam, okay, I want this change, it's going to happen. So, so many things make, I don't know, go after that change. So, we are so breezy today. It's so sorry if it's very noisy, but we need to take charge. To, to move forward, we need to take charge. So, how are we going to make take that charge in every area of life that we want to change instead of being so settled, instead of being so complacent and being just happy where we are. Good morning, Mom. So take courage, um, move forward, and it, you have to relieve, remember it's up to you to create or allow that change. Don't allow it to happen, you know, a change that you don't want per se, that maybe that you're not looking for and it just happens and you, uh, we have a whole room behind us right now. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But um, allowing things to happen instead of making them happen. Allowing things that you don't want to happen instead of going towards the way you want to happen. Right. The, 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 what is it? The path that you're going after. Instead, you lose track of it and you go after something else. Or it is put in front of you, in a sense. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Um, are you lacking the... The skills? Are you lacking the knowledge? Are you lacking the gumption to go after it? I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, realize that really it's up to you to make that change. Realize that you have the choice to make the change, to go after it, and give it a hundred percent instead of thinking, okay, I'll toe dip, as we like right. to say, jump in with both feet. Toe dip. Dip, toe dip. dip the toe? Dip the toe. Because it won't happen if you just dip the toe. If you think that, okay, I'm going to lose some weight and I'm just going to eat, okay, yogurt for breakfast, and then you continue to on and on to do the same thing, it's not going to happen. What's the one thing you've told me, uh, I think, this past week, and you've said it a lot, but I've heard it this past week, is that any diet works. Yep. If you stick to it. Consistency. As long as you stick to it, any diet will work. And that's something, you know, we had a chance to have lunch with uh, Danelle and her mastermind group uh, Monday? Yes, Monday. And that was something we talked about is consistency. Now, how do you succeed in life? How do you succeed in something you want to do is being consistent, being out there. And one of the other ways of being very consistent is pulling Ann back into this camera angle a little Am bit. I Since, out? Yeah, there she is. <laughs> Good morning, Lynn. But it was true. We were invited to speak at a mastermind group this week, and it was such an honor and a privilege. But what we talked to them about was how consistently, how consistency, how the numbers tell the truth in life. You can't avoid the numbers. The right. numbers speak the truth. And so often we try to look past them, and we try to justify what we're doing. So if you lack the numbers, if you lack, and not even lack, but if you lack the ability to follow them, if you lack the ability to really focus on them and instead you do your own thing you you don't go after what you want right so um we're just asking you give a hundred percent what are you interested in are you healing your body are you um writing a book are you taking classes how are you bettering yourself every day and how are you going after it a hundred percent not just ten percent not just twenty percent but a hundred percent what are you doing to make it happen so, any last minutes? Any last words? No, just it's been uh, great that we've been out here. I'm glad we've been able to show, share some of the views that we've seen this past week. We're uh, traveling home tomorrow, and uh, no, I think with uh, it's just got to be consistent. 
you got to make those choices, make those decisions, and stay consistent with it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we talked about with Danelle was do the math. Sales, you can always uh, calculate sales down to the mat mathematics. And if you have any questions or concerns about that, reach out to Ann and we can talk about the math uh, together offline. But the math is an interesting uh, way to figure out. Right, and math is so important in all areas of life. It's it's doing it one plus one plus one, and that's every day, seven days a week. So make it happen today. Everyone have a great day, and the we'll catch up with in. you. <laughs> the wind's kicking up. So we will catch up with all of you later, but make it happen. Give 100% today and make it happen. Have a good one. Enjoy your weekend.